Okay, how agents can defeat Skibidi -de Toilets? Let's go, let's go. You are on the Moby, Moby. channel. And I am glad to see you on my channel Hello, again. Nice In this video, you. we will talk with Vam about how agents can defeat Skibbity Toilets. I will tell you my theory. I will also okay, tell you what can go. happen after agents can defeat the Titan G Toilet and what does Skibbity have to do with it as a scientist. The video turned out to be very interesting, so watch it to the end. Okay, and let's also go. like and subscribe. I hope you will watch my reaction to this video. Let's go, boys! Check my description, there are really great links for you. ...to the channel, because we are confidently going to the goal of 200,000 subscribers, we are starting. As we remember in the 57th episode of part 1 of the cameraman, the Titan in a rage attacked the Titan G Toilet, most- By the way, this G, G Toilet is not that strong uh, anymore. I think that this is- Titans are much more stronger than G-Men, so this is really bad, and I think- the Dafuk Boom introduced new enemy, much more stronger, because Jiman is right now easy, easy peasy. Likely the outcome of this episode did not go according to plan, because the goal of the Titan Cameraman was to cure the infected Titan Speaker Man. But then G Toilet suddenly appeared and the Titan Cameraman remembered how last time he lost. I think they will, the uh, cameramans and speakers uh, are... Uh, really know about the G-Man, you know, because we, we see G-Man in the city, by the way, uh, TV-Man was on in the trap versus G-Man and other Skibidi toilets. I think the cameras know about that and they have something, I think. To him. And if it wasn't for the ninja cameraman, then the Titan cameraman could have lost again because the infected Titan loaded his guns with a very strong energy projectile. My theory is that in this 19th season, the Titan... Yeah, this is really... Why uh, Why the Titan speaker, um, you know, do something like that? I think there's somewhere in the next to the uh, Titan speaker, there is someone, you know, because... The toilet will not be defeated. This season is designed to free the Titan Speaker Man from the influence of the Skibbity Parasite on him. And what if the Titan Speaker Man is controlled not by an ordinary Skibbity Parasite, but by the Skibbity Scientist himself? Throughout the 57th episode 1... Maybe there is a chance because they improved the Titan uh, Titan Speaker. So maybe there is a chance to, to do something like that. I think... Th that will be really hard to save the Titan speaker, you know? Maybe he has a, some kind of auto-destruction. One was looking for details, specifically what is on his neck, but the author did not seem to show us what is there. My theory is this, if there is a skibbity sign. Yeah, we didn't see a neck. In the uh, earliest version of the uh, Titan speaker, we saw a neck. Right now, we didn't see it. Just there. Then, after the release of the Titan speaker man, the scientist will be able to escape and save the G-Toilet. But how will the agents be able to cure the Titan Speaker Man? I assume that the Titan TV Man will come to the rescue, and I am very interested in how this Titan will behave, because he has never met the Titan Cameraman yet personally. I am very interested to see all three Titans in one series. Oh my god, that would be amazing to see all three. The, the, but do you think they, they can um, repair the Titan... Uh, titan tv man so fast i maybe repair is not fast maybe they don't want to upgrade him only only of course uh, only repair maybe we will see it because episode 57 is the longest episode of all that exists at the moment i think we should expect a battle of all three titans but oh, this yeah. is just my theory perhaps in the second part of episode 57 we will see completely different things but how to defeat the titan of toilets and the skibbity sign Please uh, remember that we got a uh, two group, a uh, two attack group in this. Uh, first one is the with the Titan cameraman, with the ninja and the camera woman. And the second one was with the TV woman, cyborg and others. Scientist, I assume that only all three Titans can resist these villains, because every time they fought alone with G-Toilet they were amazed. 
they each have their own individual abilities, Titan Cameraman is very strong and he has the most powerful weapon, Titan Speaker Man has a very loud sound and he is fast, Titan TV Man has new technologies and hypnotizing radiation, only all three will be able to overcome Skibbity Scientist and Titan G Toilet. And by the way, you noticed that only the Titan Speaker Man did not fight with the Titan G Toilet. Most likely when they all unite, he will fight with the Skibbity Scientist. Yeah. I hope so we can get this. We didn't see the scientist. I think we will see him soon. But I think this will happen only in the 20th or even in the 21st season. And I think season 19 is dedicated to the treatment of the Titan Speaker Man. And what kind of improvement will the Titan TV Man get? Write in the comments. Now let's read your theories from the theory number one sounds like this I think the cameraman tank is not an anti skibbity parasite but a large paralyzer that paralyzes large enemies like Titan Speaker Man and large Skibites Oswell as Man Toilet. As most of you guys say, the tank can only fire once before it recharges for a long time before it can fire again. Yeah, maybe there is an option to paralyze, but tank uh, we... Uh, they destroy uh, this big tank, so this is not great at all. This is not great at all. I hope so we can get something better uh, with, the, with the weapon. Maybe maybe the Fugboom introduce new weapon for cameras or maybe speakers. We didn't see a speaker scientist, you know? Maybe the plan of cameraman was to paralyze Titan Speaker Man with the tank and let Double Plunger Cameraman or Titan Cameraman flush the parasite toilet from Titan Speaker Man until the tank got destroyed. Thanks for the interesting theory. Theory number two sounds like this theory the toilet's only Mildy upgraded TSM because they are afraid of losing him, so they don't make him too strong so he's not as much of a threat if he's cured. Theory two in episode 49, TV woman possessed the buzzsaw toilet, just like a parasite. Maybe when Titan Cinema Man returns, he will have the same ability and will be able to cancel the parasite on UPTSM. Or TV Woman will be able to do it herself. Okay, this is crazy theory. Okay, maybe t we need to remember that the U UFO skip the toilet uh, right now is somewhere. Because we didn't see it destroying it. We didn't see destroy it from... I really don't know. This is pretty bad. Maybe TV woman can destroy or take control on the neck of the of the Skibidi toilet. Uh, Titan Titan speaker Skibidi toilet. Maybe. Interesting theory. Thanks. And the final third theory sounds like this theory. Maybe the secret agent could be a time traveler. And when we see him standing on a building with his ominous green glow, we can see that the sign from the beginning of the episode now says betrayal, or it says something else. But after UTC slams UTS back down to the ground, we can see that the secret agent disappeared, as well as the message on the billboard. I think it could mean that he is sending a message to the cameraman of what will happen next, and his green glow could mean that he's using an ability to change signs or screens to a message that will warn or tell the cameraman of some- Okay, this is crazy theory. But I don't think so. I think still that the secret agent is evil is the real enemy i think but whatever guys that's all today watch my other videos and channel go to the description because there is more my channels and social media thank you for watching have a nice day and probably we get soon episode 57 part 2 see you soon